Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our quest on uh, beating the game in four and a half months or below in a world's first attempt to do one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult achievement in XCOM 2 on the very highest difficulty. It's already difficult on Commander, but in Legendary it is brutal. Operation Witch Wheel is our way to success is what they say we got a hundred intel um, at stake and nine enemies to defeat on top of it we're fighting against potentially a codex so putting um, our nice um, uh, school check in so that we can uh, get the avatar right away that would be awesome because it makes other missions easier this here seems to be a moderately difficult mission and if we could knock this one out on top I would be very pleased about it. Uh, we're going in with our good guys, um, uh, Bones, Quickfeed, Zir Kim Hayward. Uh, the Public Bravo is joining us as well as the freshly uh, promoted the Divert. Let's see how this all is going to turn out. One so far is going really good. It's a bumpy road overall, but boy oh boy the last missions are going to be intense. Good, we just landed. This here looks like a nice little L shape. The communication relay back there. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Good. Let's move everyone over to the side. I've played that L shape dozens if not hundreds of times and if you only have seven rounds you will need to make compromises the first uh, round safety is not the highest priority because that is a large map we only have nine enemies very likely that they're not going to be in our position My life is in your hands. and Every thanks to bones we get a decent understanding where the enemies are actually going to be. Stepping off. Zirkim takes a nice little sprint up there. Stepping off. Quick feet, divert. Mike Beat gets into feet. full cover. And Hayward into full cover as well. Good, we got some high ground here. We do not have high ground over there. I saw the codex already at the um, at the target here. And look at that. We even got the second uh, pack also right there. That's an interesting pack that we're seeing. If we were starting them with a grenade, it would probably be not as successful because they're just going to move into cover. So that's not the answer. Divot here, on the other hand, could move up. And that's a pretty solid hit, I would say. Let's give it a try. Nice. Very nice. It hit the plate. They've got our position. Okay. So we got a better position for our grenades now. Oh, this is arguably better. It's 
So let's go with that. It's gonna be a kill, plus a pretty decent injury. Hit this guy. Yeah, we now got the advanced troopers. We do have quite a bit of hit points. Roger that. Target neutralized. So what are we going to do over here? I mean, we know he's standing right there, right? So let's move over here. It's not going to be a kill, at least not a hundred percent chance. Running and gunning. Got it. Moving over. Eighty percent chance and nine percent. I want to keep the 99% chance for the actual enemy um, which is the avatar not the 99% chance but the axis we don't need any help that we could get against him Oak says I am to obey commander that codex provides the ideal opportunity to infiltrate the advent network we will need to move good so far so good to initiate the process. For starters, we can get to the mission objective without getting our hands dirty. That's good. Heading there now. On it. Mike moves over. Moving to yeah, and slowly but surely we're all following up. I'm on it. To Overwatch. Lots of overwatches just in case. Yeah, and we're just overwatching for now. It's all good. Reload. Let's get a bit closer, shall we? Good copy, moving on target. I'm on the move. Heading there now. Reloaded. Good. Everyone's reloaded. We're going to be fine. Next turn is a reloading and then. Uh, Zirkim will finish the objective. Let's rock! No need for the teamwork yet. Still got one more turn, and we're in a nice position here. The transmission signal is fading. They've almost completed the transfer. This is your last chance to take out that relay. Last chance, and we definitely made sure that we were winning the mission. We used the last chance.
Good, timer is gone, which means we have absolutely free reign. Let's trigger that next pack. Okay, so first things first, let's slash this guy here. Got him. This is, by the way, uh, untouchable, so we're going to be okay. Codex is going to do what a Codex always does, which is teleporting around and using a psionic bomb. As long as we don't move the Reaper, by the way, we're going to be fine. See if we can kill the sector. Chances are so and so. Understood. Moving out. Nope, not going to go for him. Let's try to kill the sector. Even if we can't kill him now, next turn Just he's definitely time. going to be toast. Can't take a shot because that would reveal our position. So we're just overwatching. The teleport will not give us away. Uh, however, the psionic bomb will probably empty our weapon. Yep. Kind of a negative side effect. Of not being able to move. That's the untouchable. Interesting, uh, interesting choice, by the way. Because normally they are... Um, very adamant to uh, to use their psionic abilities, high priority in in using them. Good, we're moving over here. Let's try to get the sector. Enemy down. Nice, it's down. We are reloading first. And then the obligatory skull check is going to happen. Good. Now time to deal with the avatar. We got a mimic beacon. Commander, I believe we are seeing something entirely new. An alien species that has so far managed to elude capture or observation by nice. resistance forces. Gets a free blade storm attack. A cautious approach. What the it jumped to a new position as soon as it took damage. All right, moving out of the danger zone. Since we can't shoot it, might as well try to drop a grenade on its head. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Wait, I just saw that it is possible. You gotta, you gotta just love the XCOM grenades. 
So first things first, we want to get rid of his armor. Alright, play more. And we are going into teamwork. No retreat. The idea is really to shred as much as we can. And this double explosion plus fall damage will help. We're going to be revealed. Oh, that's the downside. But boy oh boy. Did he just took a lot of damage? Okay. Good, so we're going to reload Zirkim. And I'm not going to run and gun this. Instead, we're putting the Mimic Beacon right under his nose. He might even run into it. It appears to be capable of repairing its physical wounds. Nine points of damage, that would be an insta-kill. Good, we're reloading. I think we will not have many sh attempts with Mike here to hit the target. Might as well go for it right away. I still hit, by the way. Yeah, definitely difficult to reach this guy over there. Let's hope for the best and see if our 50% shot can hit him. Didn't. Which means Seer Kim needs to move him. Wow, how incredibly annoying. Specifically if you miss the second one. Too far away, we wouldn't be able to reach him. Flashbang could have been used in order to prevent him from teleporting. Might have, uh, sh might have, or should have probably used it here, so that he isn't teleporting. Mine 
purchases myself. Moving as ordered. Stepping off. Moving, moving. Getting it done. And moving. Most likely not going to shoot, but instead going to mind control. There's the mind control. Unfortunately, his mind control is strong. Luckily for us, uh, Mike would even deal damage if he wouldn't have hit him. Four to six, that's decent. Six to eight, almost going to kill him. We're just going to go with the four to six for now and hope that his teleport will not be too far away. Well, we missed that, was not foreseen. Hmm. Could use uh, the X, but unfortunately, he's going to teleport again. Very nice, I think we can ca uh, catch him here. I am trusting you. All right, let's kill him. Perfect. That was a pretty devastating encounter, and I got three of them in the final room. The damage output was not on par with what I hoped. Luckily, in the final room, we also got the higher level um, characters. At that point, we should be more than capable of dealing with those guys. Just managed to pull another pack. Great. All I wanted to do is go into a solid position and enjoy for once that things aren't uh, too bad. All right, quick feed takes the A protocol. This here would be a prime spot for a couple of um, rockets, so got to deal with that. Fortunately, I don't know how. thing that we could do is Confirmed. just get out of line of sight for now and ignore the pack right got some overwatch going I would like to go here but that 
definitely would trigger um, grenade um, rockets. Okay, so that's far enough away. I'm just putting everyone in full cover at this point, doing a couple of overwatches. I think there was no I will go. remote start here. Nope, no remote start. And we don't want we don't have sting yet. that the mech would show its face first. Quick feet will take a long time to recover from this wound. <sighs> Gotta hate it. It's a lose-lose situation. If I would have uh, stood a bit closer, we would have been hit by the rockets. And I, I promise you, it would have been worse. Or equally bad. Try to hit and shred. I'm up. Apparently, we Go haven't up. shredded. That was bad. Yeah, we got uh, Blade Storm, so that's a kill, even though it is not a kill yet. Overwatch. We're going to have a heavily injured uh, quick feet, which absolutely stings. So mark my words, it'll take a while until he's going to be back. But all things considered elsewise, it was an okay mission. Um, there can be an argument made that it was sloppy to do the um, yellow move at the very end. I get it, fair enough. We had no time pressure, so literally we could have clustered up and just waited for them to, to show up. That's fair. But other than that, I think the rest of the mission was really good. And we're about to land. So what are we looking at? Well, 20 days is actually okay. I mean, that's 10, 10 days uh, with uh, scanning. And we got a lot of promotions. So... We got Sting, which I like. I like Soul Harvest as well. Sting is absolutely great. I think we're going for Soul Harvest. I think we can do that. Death from above is good. I like, I almost like Quick Draw. Almost like quick draw better here for various reasons, um, such as action economy. And yeah, Mike didn't have shredder. Yeah, no wonder why we uh, were not shredding anything. Command. Although I firmly believe. New objective added. Excellent work. Perfect. Commander. Kill the avatar. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Commander, 
Now that we've built the shadow team, so we can't do that. Everything else needs to be completed beforehand. Um, for the Reaper, a soldier's abilities. Let's do Soul Harvest. I think it's a good ability. It's an act actually good ability. And yeah, we need to continue with the Intel scan. So quick feed uh, will be in the sick bay for now, because we also need Intel. Don't need the supplies at the moment. Hopefully, your team can uncover this being's connection to the Avatar project. You have sacrificed one of. Added. Good. So, phew, investigate the black side coordinates. Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. So, oh, look at that. Plated armor. Only six more days. Well, that's good. Advent data pad. One day inspired. Yeah, let's let's I'll just go for that real quick one day for the data pad holy moly progress, that's just work. intel on top of it Commander, we have the and our gamble paid off it this is pretty damn good this is all things considered this is really really good so could make contact could make contact and immediately start the mission there if we wanted Commander, we have a line on the chosen warlock here. Tactical yeah, blah blah. That's all right, so fine and good. Yeah, we make contact. New regional contact located. And we finally got the third chosen as well. Not sure why the game is freezing up because it's probably shortly explaining that there is a third chosen. Could the game not freeze, please? Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. The local resistance operatives we just made contact with in this region warned us that one of the Chosen has been terrorizing the area for some time now. Well, Sandra we'll just needs to inform us uh, that there is finally a third hunter. Resistance operatives working in this area, Commander. They're going to show us Take a look at him. Forge facility. And just where do you think you're going? Immune to explosions, general uh, mischief to generate shielding, and he also gets low profile. Well, that's a pretty nasty combination. Okay, so far so good. By the way, we got a nice little alien facility here, unfortunately. I don't want to deal with a dangerous alien um, because it would mean that whatever we're fighting against, probably uh, the Snake King, could join us on the other missions. On the other hand, if we kill it with a repeater, hmm, the Snake suit isn't too bad, but we don't have proving ground, so, so I can stop cloud chasing. That's not going to work. Got to deal with this here soon, very soon. Yeah, we need to do that mission. Enemy unknown means one of uh, the chosen is going to be there. Could also mean that that is the sector pod. Just out of curiosity, blue screen rounds how long? 
How long would it Research take? Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. Four days. Uh, maybe we get it inspired. I had expected to find that the aliens were so let's take a look. We're at June third. And the, black site we raided with the, help of local the shadow chamber. What we did yeah, we we so gotta do the mission right now. Unfortunately, solely dedicated to the rendering and refining got a few uh, soldiers, bones here. Zirkum. The aliens have crossed the boundaries of known science. Unfortunately, our main squad is on the covert ops mission. That was greedy. But if I can pull it off, it will pay off nicely. So we got Reaper, Sharpshooter, Specialist Ranger. That's good. I'll just put Mike the Public into the mission as well. Don't care if he's uh, lightly wounded afterwards. Really don't care. So that's fine. And we're taking another Specialist with us. Yeah. It's good enough. Where it's it's definitely not going to get any better than uh, than that, um, so that is it. Um, we really need to uh, fight our fight there because, believe it or not, after that data uh, pad decryption, we're almost out of um, out of research, and. There's not much time left. Even with 10 um, scientists, we're probably requiring around 10 days, 12, maybe 15 each. We got the suit. We got the um, portal that needs uh, researching. And on top of it, then we got the um, suit of uh, the avatar, which is only 12 days. I remember in the last one, it was 17 days. so. Uh, there might be a little bit of a tiny bit of light at the end of the tunnel uh, If this here is 12 days, then the others are 10 to 12 days But still 12 days times 3 Still 36 days, so we're already in July and July 15th is the absolute last so We got to do the mission uh, This is how slim the margin for error is really unbelievable i i just need to do the missions although we're not ready we have no upgrades whatsoever we just need to rush and go 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 but i i for the first time i have the feeling that we can pull it off so there is absolutely hope um, if i'm not effing it up uh, massively on any of those missions we can uh, pull it off so uh, we got six um, uh, six uh, people Yes, they have no upgrades, and mm, we still need to find a way to get Intel, but we have a lot of uh, data pads, um, which are a great, great source of Intel. So this data pad will be probably 7080 as well, meaning we are standing very close to the, um, to the portal. So from an expansion standpoint, we are almost there, just 7080 Intel uh, missing. We can, uh, we could uh, build a new tower there, um, all fine and good. Um, yeah, the only thing that is worrying me is we're from a technology standpoint very far behind. And yeah, probably from a covert ops standpoint, I'm not sure if we can even invade the stronghold. I need to think about how we're dealing with uh, the alien facility. That's a relatively easy mission. I like the prospect of uh, up, um, leveling up our troops just a tiny bit further, because look at that. I mean, one major um, and uh, gravely wounded one. Um, we do have a captain. The rest is lieutenants and sergeants. So if we play our cards right, we might end up with lieutenants and captains in the final mission. No upgrades whatsoever. So uh, with the uh, who needs Titan achievement is is is. Uh, <laughs> is easy um, compared to that we will need to fight all three of the shows we will need to fight three of the um uh of the uh, avatars on top of that and i'm not going i'm not even going to mention the 50 enemies 
So I need to really think about how we're doing that last mission with the folks that we do have available. I, I'm not seeing where we can uh, squeeze out much more than the promotions that I've squeezed out. Maybe we're getting a bonus mission here if we're being ambushed. That would be lucky. Maybe I can do the um, the facility on top of it and then the two golden storyline missions. Yeah, and that's really it. Like, what else um, could we do? Nothing I really, right? Not taking the death of an elder lightly, exactly. That is threatening prospect. I might even go in with two specialists into the last mission. Not sure yet. Just to have enough healing. I mean, it's crazy. The amount of damage that we're taking. And we're almost always close to death. And we don't have mass healing. I don't see Hayward getting mass healing anytime soon. <laughs> it's, uh, it is definitely a difficult achievement. I'm sweating, guys. All right. If you liked it, uh, leave your comments uh, down below. I like to hear what you think about uh, the run so far. Definitely like to hear what you think about just how tight the margin is. And uh, see you in the next run, guys. Bye-bye.